Hey everybody, it's Michael with PocketNow.com. The Samsung Galaxy S3, already released internationally a few weeks ago, is now making its debut on all four U.S. carriers. Thanks to the awesome people at Samsung, I have a Sprint version here. We're going to have a full review of this device in the coming days, but uh, until then, we figured we'd sate your appetite with a little unboxing video. So let's get to it. Okay, so even just looking at the box, you can see how much influence Samsung has had over the marketing of this device. The packaging is nearly identical to the international versions, with the exception of a few details, the most obvious being that the Sprint version is huge compared to the international one, which is odd because they both contain roughly the same amount of material. Otherwise, boxes are almost identical as far as the feature rundown goes on the back, with the exception of the Sprint version having just a little bit of carrier branding up here, and Sprint has also eliminated any mention of the Samsung model number, GTI 9300, which I think is a good thing. Pop in the box open here. We're greeted front and center once we open this flap by the phone itself, which is great standard treatment for a smartphone these days, but it's still very nice to see. We'll put it aside for a second. Pop out the little phone cradle here. We have the usual array of getting started guides from Sprint in multiple languages, terms and, service, uh, terms and conditions of service, and a return envelope for your old phone if you choose to recycle it. We've got the battery here, which is a 2100 milliamp hour battery. White earphones, very stylish to go with the white device. Some additional earbud plugs if your ears are a different size than the included ones, or if you just need replacements, that's nice too. USB cable, nothing special there. Micro USB cable, rather. And finally, the power adapter here with the USB plug in there. Coming back to the phone, let's take a brief hardware tour here. As we've mentioned before, the Galaxy S3 for US carriers is identical to the international version with regard to the casing design with the only difference being a slightly more yellow tint on the Sprint version here. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, but it does exist to my eye, but it is so slight that nobody would ever notice unless they were looking for it. Also, the only other difference is the Qualcomm 4G sticker up top, uh, which is kind of a feature. You probably can't see it if I can't get it into focus here. I can't, but it says uh, Qualcomm 4G. So. That's easy to peel off if you want to, but aside from that, these devices are identical. Otherwise, in case you haven't seen it before, home key down below, big 4.8 inch display panel, Super AMOLED here. We're looking at earpiece up here, Samsung branding, 1.9 megapixel front facing camera, proximity sensors that echo the Samsung Focus 2's design, and that's about it up front. On top, we've got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack, noise canceling mic. On the side here, the power button. Uh, down on the bottom, micro USB port and the primary microphone. And on the other side, the volume rocker. Moving around to the back here, I'm just gonna pop the battery cover off. Unpackage the battery from its wrapping and pop this in before we do anything. And here's what the back of the device looks like with the battery cover off. We've got the eight megapixel camera lens flanked by the speakerphone grill, LED flash. And down here we have expansion slot for the micro SD card slot, for a micro SD card rather. Uh, the Galaxy S3 does support micro SD XC cards, meaning that the 16 or 32 gigs of onboard memory in this device can be augmented by inserting a card of up to 64 gigs. That's just in the card slot. That's a lot of memory. Now, unlike the international version here, we'll just pop off the battery cover to give you a comparison. There is no SIM card slot. Sprint has gone with the integrated SIM card for its LTE phones, for most of its LTE phones. This one is no exception, so there is no SIM swapping ability here, just to let you know. Let's clear the international version out of here, get back to this guy here. We'll go ahead and pop the battery cover on here. Uh, that's the wrong one. Go ahead and pop this battery cover on here. You'll notice 
the branding, Galaxy S3 on the bottom, absent on the international version, and of course the Sprint branding there. This is a polycarbonate battery cover. Uh, like the Galaxy Nexus, it is paper thin and very flimsy, but it is made of polycarbonate, so it should be stronger than regular plastic. That said, the hyperglaze coating on it gives it the feel of a cheaper, less high quality build, and it also showcases fingerprints quite well. Fortunately, though, on the white one, that's not as much of a problem. So there we are, the unit is assembled. And for our last trick here, we're gonna power it on for a first boot. Press and hold. The Sprint version only gives us a glimpse of the initial Samsung branding before flashing the Galaxy S3 branding there. You'll notice the GTI 9300 has been omitted from that splash screen as well. White balance gets totally blown out as this display lights right up. That's awesome, Sprint 4G LTE. There's your uh, notification LED up in the corner there. More on that coming in the full review. More on all of this coming in the full review. And it should only take a few seconds because this is a rather speedy device. Boom, and there we are. Like I said before, we've got a lot more coverage on the Sprint Galaxy S3 from Samsung coming soon. So stay tuned to PocketNow.com. You can follow us on Twitter if you like at PocketNowTweets. You can follow me on Twitter at Captain2Phones. That's Captain the number two phones. And give us a thumbs up if you like the review. Leave a comment on the post at PocketNow.com if you have something to say. And uh, stay tuned for more. It's PocketNow. Thanks for watching.